your excellencies, ambassadors, your lordships, the bishops, and members of the clergy in the Republic of Kenya, my good deputy, Rigadi Gashagwa, distinguished members of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, led by Chairman Wafula Chepukati, uh, fellow countrymen and women. Good evening. It is a wonderful evening, and I want to thank God that we are here this evening to witness this momentous occasion as the people of Kenya restate what is in Article 1 of the Constitution of Kenya, that all sovereign power belong to the people of Kenya. I want to thank God for getting us to this point. I want to thank God that today we have concluded this election. I know that there were predictions that I won't get to the ballot. There were predictions that we won't get here. But because there is a God in heaven, we are here. And I want to, in a very special way, say and confess that without God, we wouldn't have been here. Those who turned up to vote for us on 9th of August and the millions who have waited patiently until this announcement has been made. Specifically, I want to thank my fellow countrymen and women because we have raised the bar in this election. Jointly, we have raised the bar. This election was much about the issues than the ethnic configurations that have always informed our elections. Gratitude goes to the millions of Kenyans who refused to be boxed into tribal cocoons. I am a very proud Kenyan this evening that the people of Kenya have raised the bar on us who are seeking leadership in our country. Not to sell our ethnicities, but to sell our programs, our manifestos, our agenda, and our plan. Let me also say right at the start, that in here and in this election, there are no losers. The people of Kenya have won because we have raised the political bar. I want to say that the people of Kenya. led by the 14 million who turned up to vote, are the biggest winners. The hero of this election is the IEPC, led by Wafula Chebukati. I say this with conviction, that the IEPC amazed all of us. With the results in the public portal, that all the 
servers were open. And everybody, all you needed is a simple calculator. And you would have the results. I want to congratulate the IEPC for raising the bar. And I want to say, without fear of any contradiction, that one Wafula Chebukrati is our hero. Soft spoken, but firm. And I want to tell you, Mr. Chairman, we are very proud that without informing any one of us, you put all the results from all the polling stations on a public portal where any Kenyan could access. That became the game changer in this election. Let me also at this point in time, thank our partners, the religious leaders, who were part of this process right from the beginning. For the first time, we saw religious leaders spend time at this Stalin Center and prayed for this process. I am sure their prayers will not be in vain. I also want to thank our development partners, our diplomatic community, and all the observers who came in their thousands to be part and parcel of the process right from almost two weeks ago to its conclusion in this auditorium. To all of them, I tell them the people of Kenya are eternally grateful that you took your time, valuable time, to watch over this process so that the right thing can happen. I want to thank my worthy competitor. The Honorable Ray Laudinga for a campaign that we all dwelt on issues and we tried to sell an agenda to the people of Kenya. I want to promise that I will work all elected leaders and all leaders in Kenya so that we can fashion a country that leaves nobody behind. What the people of Kenya have done, they have assigned us responsibilities. There will be those of us who will be in the executive, but there will be those of us who will oversee what we do in the executive. Both responsibilities in government and in the opposition are important for the people of Kenya. I want to promise the people of Kenya that I will run a transparent, open, democratic government. And I will work with the opposition to the extent that they provide oversight over my administration. Let me also, at this point in time, acknowledge my boss, the President of the Republic of Kenya. His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, who has worked with me over the last 10 years in various forms. And I want to commit.
submit to the people of Kenya that I will build on the foundation that President Kenyatta and I put together and take this country to the next level. I want to promise all the people of Kenya, whichever way they voted, that this will be their government. Mm -hmm. I know many are wondering, especially those who have